appearing. Hi folks, this is Fausto and we are here live from our home studio in Chicago. Here's Mark. Hi there. And there's Alita Buffet, our mm -hmm. mascot drag queen and large titted. And you can lower the volume. Sorry. I'm going to share this in the group. So we want everybody who's watching this right now, share it with your friends. We're going to be uh, telling you guys a lot about uh, Cooking with Drag Queens and the podcast. And people are just getting ready right now. So Mark, you can share it with your friends. Do you guys like my guy liner? Is it pretty? Hello. So we're going to swipe left to see the viewers. So everybody who's watching this right now, give us a little like. Mark says you can go really fast if you just go to the search Feast of Fun. Okay. Mark, I'm showing Mark how to use Facebook here. Okay. You're acting like I didn't do that already. Oh, well, I don't know. So for whatever reason, the friend of the show is not showing up. Oh, so share it on your wall. Then I will let me just make sure that it's not there. Hi, Brandon. How are you doing? So stop doing that because the people okay. are watching you and they're wanting to see a show so Hi. Why, don't, why don't you entertain them while i do it and I'll go so fast will do it how's everybody doing out there oh it is brand hi brandon what's going on so yeah we are doing a little live stream today to give you a little update on cooking with drag queens the kickstarter we are over 25 percent funded and we have 29 days to go so that's really really good Woo! news we are on track to making it happen and so it will happen. But it, this is support. it. You want a red balloon, kid? <laughs> How about a red pair of pantyhose? <laughs> I'm pantywise the clown. Ew. Oh, I didn't realize my legs would look so flattering and slimming in these red pantyhose. <laughs> ah. <laughs> have you guys seen the movie It? Brendan, have you seen It? It? Let me see it. It is fantastic. So, uh, Cooking with Drag Queens has 29 days more to go. 29. And we are 25% of the way there, which is really good. Uh, go see it, Brandon. Hi, Diana. Hi, everybody. And so, uh, we wanted to talk a little bit about Cooking with Drag Queens, what we have in store for you guys. The secret ingredient that makes it so sweet. Are you going to give away the secret? We're going to give you all the secrets. Oh, what is the secret? The secrets are meant to be shared. And Mark, right. uh, you're blocking uh, Alita, the people from oh. seeing Alita. So. Alita Buffet. Alita Buffet, honey. Alita she, total She's buffet. the real star of Cooking with Drag Queens. <laughs> so uh, for, for me, I think what makes Cooking with Drag Queens work is that we get to see a, a part of these amazing entertainers' lives that reality television, that their own video blogs, their own media doesn't show. And part of it is that we're taking our cameras into their homes and putting them in a very vulnerable place and then we're interviewing them and talking to them about themselves. The second thing is that we're putting them in a dangerous situation, kind of like Dragula, mm. but unlike making them eat bugs or, or burying them alive. Yeah. They have or, to eat what they cook. <laughs> they have to cook. Yeah. They have to learn how to cook. And and as you've seen from the videos, it's not an easy thing for, for anybody to do. And they get really anxious. And so because they're they're sort of um they're they're caught off guard, they they become they're sort of turn off their ego and we got to see the person behind them. So you guys get to see Kim Chi and Bob the Drag Queen mm. and a lot of these other uh, entertainers. Uh, sort of showcase who they are and we get to learn who they are. And so we've been talking to some of them for season three for Cooking with Drag Queens and of course T.S. Madison Hinton mm -hmm. Come on Grease! Come on Grease! Is it on? She wants to come and fry harder with us. <laughs> so that's why we call it Fry Harder uh, and we've been talking to Madison about it and I just feel like initially when we had T.S. Madison on Cooking with Sassy Divas it was just scratching the surface. Mm. We really need to get to talk to T.S. Madison about her life and herself. And she's so funny that sometimes, you know, with some of these entertainers, with some of these guests, all you have to do is stand back and let the magic unfold. Oh, and she's definitely a magic unfolding kind of person, as you've seen from her Facebook lives and her Vine videos and all the stuff that she's done on YouTube. 
Well, and you know, Auntie Fee, you guys remember Auntie Fee? She's oh, a, an so entertainer. Who's, who was Auntie Fee? Auntie Fee, she was an African American woman. I guess she had served some time in jail, got out of jail, and was just like, I'm going to do these cooking videos. And she was a no nonsense cook. She, she was tough. She was tough. And she was a, a, a commanding director, and she'd yell at her nephews, like, point the camera here, point the camera here, don't ask me these stupid questions. Point the camera here, point, point it, it over, over there, there. Point, point it in this car, yeah. I'm going to teach you how to make this, it's going to be good, and it's going to be cheap, and it's going to be wonderful. And she had such a, a vibrant uh, lust for life. And unfortunately, she's not with us anymore, but I think T.S. Madison is, like, picking up mm -hmm. the mantle of mm -hmm. a strong black woman in the kitchen that we just don't really have, you know, and... and I want to invite T.S. Madison into our home studios and fry up a storm. I want to make chicharrones de pollo. How, do you guys know what that is? De pollo? What's that? So chicharrones, for a lot of people, you know, George W. Bush loved it. It's a fried pork rind. Yeah. But in Puerto Rico, we have what we call chicharrones de pollo, which is a very salty, marinated chunks of chicken that get fried, very much similar to the chicharrones of pork, de puerco, but these are uh, sort of crispy Puerto Rican chicken nuggets uh, oh. chunks. And mm. they're really, really good. And they're really delicious. And I wanted to show T.S. Madison how to do that. Um, we also wanted to show different styles of frying, like Asian versus Japanese. Like tempura. Tempura, but also Korean and also Fried mozzarella, uh, Irish style, uh, Southern style, uh, Canadian style, Detroit style frying foods. You can do fondue. You people like the French, they fry meat right in oil. And, 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 and so we wanted to showcase all those different kind of frying st styles to uh, T.S. Madison. And, and you know, hi, pretty Clay. much. Hi, Lori. Hi. Hi, hi everybody. Hi. So right now, if you guys have been sort of following us on the podcast and on YouTube, you've seen that we've started posting videos with some really amazing people. Uh, T.S. Madison, we got to talk to her backstage. Vander Von Odd, the winner of Dragula Season 1. Vivacious, needs no introduction. Mm. Cherry Chan, um, lots of uh, J. Jolie... Uh, the Boulet brothers. We've talked to some really extraordinary entertainers, and we want to bring them into the kitchen here for Cooking with Drag Queens. We can't do this without your support. So if you've been thinking about it, and you've been wondering, well, is this going to happen? I don't want to commit to this. Just remember, if you pledge any amount and it doesn't succeed, you don't have to pay a penny. Yeah. Nobody loses no anything. No money lost. No money lost, no love lost. However, if you don't take action now, you pretty much guarantee Cooking with Drag Queens to stop, mm. to, to end, to, to get the chop. So if you've been thinking about jumping into Cooking with Drag Queens, now is the time to do that. So go to cookingwithdragqueens.com, and if you've already pledged, consider doubling your pledge, or just give, like, you know, Jacob more. and TWM Ballin Malloy. <laughs> That's two. Oh, Tomb. Tomb, that's a Welsh name. It means Tom. But if you've been thinking about sharing <laughs> this right now with mm -hmm. your friends, mm -hmm. you know... And Tomb is a fierce drag queen in his own right. It's uh, polyamorous. So, so I'm trying to tell Tomb okay. and to Jacob, what yeah. am I trying to say? You're trying to say, now is the time to pledge. Go to cookingwithdragqueens.com. Pledge a dollar. And I think in, 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 in the UK that might be like a pound. <laughs> but it's, it's a get, simple it, thing it, to it do. It gets converted. It gets converted internationally. It's, you know. Why should a dollar make a difference? You know, why well, can't you, somebody when, else do you it? You know what? It, 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 what you're doing is when you're do, uh, doing this, creating this unique programming, is you're, you're putting something out there in the world that's fun for a lot of people. And so, you know, a lot of these, some of these videos get 300,000 views, you know, 400,000 views. And if it's just like everybody just gave a dollar, uh, we could just cr create these things like indefinitely. So, obviously, like a dollar doesn't seem like a, mu a lot mm -hmm. when you're faced with the job of raising twenty thousand mm -hmm. dollars but the thing about it is when you pledge one dollar kickstarter sees that mm -hmm. and says this person no matter how modest their income is believes in the project enough to log onto our site and go through the trouble of putting a dollar into that bucket and in enough people 
pledge a dollar support. If, if you had 400 people pledging a dollar support, it will only be $400. But to Kickstarter, mm -hmm. that is huge. Mm -hmm. That means 400 people really right. believe in this, and so they might be more likely to feature it. Mm -hmm. And when it's featured it on Kickstarter, a lot of other people who have deeper mm -hmm. pockets yeah. can participate and support the project. Mm -hmm. And the thing is though too, is like when you say like 400 people doing a dollar, you know, it doesn't seem like $400 is a lot, but that's actually like 2% of what we're looking at, you know? So, and a little 2% here and 2% here, it all adds up. You know, our podcast is listened to every day by thousands and thousands of people all around the world who could, for one reason or another, uh, give a dollar. And that would make, that would basically succeed and get us to the the amount, but for whatever reason, they're 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 in the closet. They're they're hiding. They're thinking someone else is going to do mm -hmm. it. Someone else is going to be able to make that difference. But that happens because of your support. Mm -hmm. I know Jacob that you're going to go right now when we're done making this video, and you're going <laughs> to pledge a dollar, right? You know, and people like to say mm -hmm. though, like uh, uh, kick, uh, with Kickstarter. Uh, friends don't let people uh, crowdfund alone, and as you know, we've had lots of friends that have done crowdfunding. You've heard on the podcast people come and uh, you know say, "Hey, give me money for my Kickstarter for my crowdfunding," and you know we've provided that kind of platform for them. And a lot of people that have done that have, in return, in kind, uh, given us money too. So I just want to give a little shout out to those that have, and for anybody who's Kickstarter, we supported. I you know share our Kickstarter, give a dollar, even if we gave you twenty five dollars, give us three. Uh, supporting now, don't wait for mm -hmm. other people to do it. It allows others to jump in the pool. Have you ever been at a party and it's like everybody's standing around the pool and they're all like, no, you first, no, you first. And then nobody has any fun because nobody jumped in the pool and got wet. Kickstarter, our Cooking with Drag Queens Kickstarter is a lot like that. It requires you to jump in the pool first so that others can respond to your courage and yeah. your bravery and jump in the pool themselves. So if you haven't done that, and we know who you are, and we're going to come <laughs> knocking on your door like Mormons mm -hmm. with eyeliner. Mormons with eyeliner, we're going to be knocking on your door, and we're asking, please, just $1. That's all we're asking. Joey, I know uh, Justin, you guys are watching right now, and you're thinking, I really should have done that yesterday. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why you got to pledge now, because mm -hmm. if you pledge now, you can actually... Do, be done with it. Yeah. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, now you did it. your role. You did everything you could mm -hmm. to make sure Cooking with Drag Queens continues. And you get all the fun updates too. So the people that are already pledging, they're getting updates of, of the videos that we've produced and they're really fun interviews with a lot of the girls uh, that, uh, from RuPaul's Drag Race uh, at, at, at DragCon. And then we also went behind the scenes of the Drag Queens of Comedy and talked to like Alaska, Willem, Peaches Christ, Heclina, Jackie Beat, Coco Peru, all these wonderful videos. And those are being released uh, during this time and you get to be the first ones to watch them. And there's so many of them that are just absolutely charming. I, I'm putting stuff on the Kickstarter that will never see the light of day. And if Cooking with Drag Queens doesn't get funded, you'll be the only people on the planet Earth that knew what Coco Peru's dressing room looked like. Mm. Now Joey's asking, how do I sign up? Just go to cookingwithdragqueens.com and it'll take you right to the Kickstarter. You sign up and make your pledge today. Cooking with Drag Queens, you have really... You have until October 19th to pledge, but really, we want you to pledge today. We want you to jump in the pool, to not worry about it, to, mm -hmm. to take action right now and help others ensure the success of this beloved web series that we love doing, and I know you guys love watching it. So, cookingwithdragqueens.com, it redirects you to the Kickstarter link. We want to get T.S. Madison Hinton. We want to get Vander Von Odd, Vivacious Mother! Has arrived to the kitchen. We're gonna My make Cherry Chan, who's uh, reclaiming her time. Mm. Peaches Christ, Trinity to Talk Taylor. I want to invite her. We want uh, we want Jay Jolie. We want the Boulay Brothers. You, you know, because they make all these queens eat they, all this yeah. disgusting stuff. They torture dry queens. Let's make them eat brain tacos. <laughs> 
They'd probably be into it. They'd be like, I don't more brain, to. more brain, more brain. Well, th we'll cook it this time mm -hmm. around. Uh, Sasha Valour, you know, Sasha Valour is somebody who really loved cooking with drag queens. She's somebody who's followed and listened to Feast of Fun. She's benefited in a lot of ways uh, from the experience and the wisdom of all the interviews of the drag queens that we've had on the podcast and on Cooking with Drag Queens over the years, I would say that that's part of her success on, on RuPaul's Drag Race. I would say that's definitely an ingredient that allowed her to snatch the crown and be America's next drag superstar. Somebody like Bob the Drag Queen is somebody who uh, very much was a part of our podcast for a lot, many years. Kim Chi was a pod, part of a podcast for many, many years. They got their start first on Feast of Fun and Cooking with Drag Queens. Think of this as an incubation chamber for the artists of tomorrow. This is a place where you can hatch and cultivate and shape the entertainers that are going to dominate the news and the airwaves tomorrow. And you're helping to be part of their success. You're helping to shape the future mm -hmm. to make the future what you want it to yeah. be. What is the future of drag? The future you of drag is you. You yeah. get to make that happen. Mm -hmm. You get to have a say. You get to have a, a voice in making that future happen. Um, you know, Certainly the casting folks from RuPaul's Drag Race, once again for season 10, Got a drag queen from Cooking with Drag Queens. I'm not going to say who it is, but I think you're probably a good guesser as I And this am. is the rumors. We don't know for a We don't know for sure. They haven't ta started taping yet, and I don't want to ruin her oh, chances. I think, they, I think they've they actually... Are? Yeah, they've started recording. So they already eliminated yeah. her. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe so. <laughs> I'm sorry, we'll but you have to lip sync for your life, Lola Von Miramar. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. <laughs> Is it Daphne Duma? Maybe. Maybe. Well, she's right here. I'm right here. Uh, so we got some really interesting news. So I'm sorry, before I f move on, cookingwithdragqueens.com. Please go there right now. Yeah. Uh, so we taped a podcast about the movie It. Yes, It With Brian was Sweeney, which was hilarious. Because he really liked It. And we liked it, too. I do like It. But talking about It felt like we were talking about Tracy Tyler and a transgender, uh, you know, like a transgender woman and a guy sort of uh, realizing that she's transgender oh, so this is and true. getting angry that she's trans, but he's also sexually aroused right. by her. So yeah. he's kicking her out. This is what Tracy this said to us. This is what Tracy us. says. So she's with this guy, you know, she has yeah. to reveal her situation. And then he's just like, get out. And then he like opens the door and then he closes the door. He's like, let me see it. And then she, she shows, shows him, him her And genitals. then he's like, get out. And then she's about to leave. He's like, wait a second. Wait. Let me see it again. <laughs> so it's it. like, he's, he's turned on, and he's, uh, but he also wants her to go. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, Joey just pledged. Yay, Yay Joey. Joey. Joey, cookingwithdragqueens.com. So the second thing is really big is that we're launching a new podcast. Mm -hmm. We've been doing Feast of Fun for 13 years. Right. We're launching a brand new separate podcast. That initially will become part of Feast of Fun, but it will have stand on its own. It will have its own RSS feed, and you'll be able to find it independently wherever you find podcasts. Wherever podcasts are available. Mm. And it's, uh, you know, where no drag queen's gone before. I don't know what the name of the show is. To boldly go where no one's gone. To we're, fabulously go where no podcast has gone before. So we're very excited. Uh, you know, uh, Fausto and I and our friend Brian Sweeney are very excited uh, by Star Trek and we're, 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 uh, we're very hopeful that this new series that they have, Star Trek Discovery. Discover uh, She. Discover She will be a, a, a good show and so we're going to do a podcast on it. We're going to give it a year and see how it goes and there'll be 15 episodes. It'll be 15 podcasts. It'll be seven this fall and then they're going to shoot again. They're going to release some more in the in the winter in January, and so we'll cover each episode. They'll be about an hour long, so it'll be uh, Brian, I, and Fausto, and we also are reaching out to some other people who hopefully will become like regular contributors to the show. And just like Star Trek, we're mm -hmm. looking for uh, people of diverse heritages yes. and legacies mm -hmm. and sensibilities mm -hmm. and perspectives. Well, because I'm very excited, you know, for this episode of uh, this series because they're going to have a gay couple on it. So it's a guy and he's actually going to have like a partner. 
I've never seen a gay couple in media before, have you guys? <laughs> It'll be something new. But not on Star Trek. It'll Star be Trek? like this podcast, Trek, but in, yeah. with computers. Uh, you know, and that's part of the reason why I, I'm, I'm so into it. And the thing is, you know, Star, Star Trek, for it's it's been so avant-garde and so forerunning in so many different ways. But in the gay thing, it just it really just has dropped the ball continuously. Uh, Joey says, I'm going to leave now to pledge, but thanks for making my day Aww. by acknowledging my name. Purple Heart. Aw, Joey, you're the best. Uh, so, and this is the best news of the day, hmm. guys. The state of California has declared past legislation. no more Trump. Mm -hmm. how, how does that work exactly? How are they doing it? So I guess you can't get on the ballot in the primaries in California unless you have already released your tax returns. So they it's, just passed that as a law. I don't think you can win the United States. You can't become president of the United States unless you win California. Well, Trump didn't win California right. in the last that's election, true. and he became president. Oh, that's true. But you can't win the primaries yeah. without releasing your tax mm -hmm. returns. So in terms of getting a Republican president elected, that's still a possibility. In terms of getting Trump nominated right. again and winning the primaries, that's going to be a little bit harder since he can't be on the ballots in California. California. Now, that... The Republican Party could just say, we're going to put anybody we want to because, you know, these parties can pretty much put anybody they want to anyways. Mm. Um, but the, it's going to make it much, much, much harder for Trump to become yeah. president again. Yes. Uh, it's still a possibility. And, so, you know, Trump is somebody who's very – plays very dirty. Yeah. So, you know, it's certainly something that can happen. And uh, but I think it's, it's good news. It's a, a definitely a very – Well, and it's especially move. it's a big F you to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he should have never been on the ballot in the first place. And uh, last but not least, uh, we want uh, to talk about what was it? The other thing? It was the. It was the. Uh, there was a, a study that insects, mosquitoes, and was flies. It, flies? it was, was flies. It fruit flies. Just flies, okay. like a fly. You know, the regular house fly. Mm -hmm. If it gets stimulated by a lady fly mm -hmm. and doesn't put out, then there's no sex because they get mm -hmm. disturbed or something bad happens. It or the can't lady sleep, wasn't into it. Or the lady wasn't into it. The male fly can't sleep. I can't sleep till it gets off. Until it gets off. Oh, I feel that way sometimes too. <laughs> it's like the, the you're like I can't sleep. I know what to do. Yeah, <laughs> I know how to. Handle this situation. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, we want to thank you so much for watching this live stream here. Uh, we're going to be uh, putting out a podcast tomorrow with Cherry Chan. Mm -hmm. uh, Auntie Cherry. Auntie Cherry. She's 22 years old, but she wants to act like she's your aunt. Well, you know, because when you're young, you, <laughs> you know, you want to be old. And when you're yeah, old, you want to be young. young. <laughs> I no. killed two flies that were fucking in the air, says Vice. Oh, Man. did you eat them? Did you get off? <laughs> you went, those flies make me... Horny. My dog thinks of uh, uh, of flies. They're air raisins. He, he's a good fly hunter. Oh yeah, Jesse. Jesse's he likes just them. like he's like. I will get that fly. Don't you worry. I don't even have to bother. Girl, I'm trying to get a tripod for this phone yeah. here because I'm like my my hands hurt just holding mm. it up like that. <laughs> so guys, go to cookingwithdragqueens.com. Can we get up to six thousand today? Can we? I think we get. We're almost there. We're Let's, at five. Let me take a look, Ricardo. Baby, go to cookingwithdragqueens.com. We want you to jump in the pool. Let's take a look. Cooking. I have, you yeah, don't have right. it. I have uh, the app right there on the front page. Oh, you do? Yeah, right there. Let's take a peek. Here's the dot. Rodney. We're coming. We're coming. Ready? He says, get a pop socket, hun. I'm going to. We're at 5563 So we're about at $437 away from 6000 I think we can do it. Can we Voy do it? Para allá donar, Ricardo. Guys, I'm on Kickstarter. I can't figure out how to actually donate. Am I missing something? Go to cookingwithdragqueens.com. He says he's on, he's on Kickstarter. So well, he's there. Did, did you go to the cookingwithdragqueens.com page? Do you see the video? You can do it. So go to cookingwithdragqueens.com. And if you're on Kickstarter, just fi find, our, find our thing and it says support this project. So first of all, you can create an account by logging in with Facebook. Right? And you're on Facebook right now, so you already have a Facebook account. And you're going to back this project. There's a giant green button. 
That, right there? Right there. Back this project. So you select that Back button. Back to my bumper, baby. And there you press on the button. And it says, new to Kickstarter? Learn the basics of backing a project. So you can actually then start scrolling and figure out which reward you want to give. So you just go up. And you can start at three. Or you can make a pledge without a reward. Mm -hmm. Or you can, you can change your pledges at any time. So if you, even if you're committing to something, you can change it, you can increase it, to delete it. And, you know, we want to make you guys happy. So you feel like you, Shannon just pledged you, $3. Shannon. You got it, Shannon. So uh, if you just, you know, want to pledge some amount, you can just scroll up. You can get the tote bag. You can get a season three apron. You can get all the video downloads. You can get the t-shirts, everything, the deluxe combo for the holidays. It's only 150 That gives you the red t-shirt, the refrigerator magnet, the apron, the tote bag, the holiday card. And you get to watch all the episodes before they air and have the mm -hmm. option of having your name in the closing credits. Mm -hmm. You get for $200, which is a giveaway. Because, you know, a lot of people pay $200 for a VIP you can get to talk to Vivacious on the phone, undisturbed, uninterrupted. Well, except for us. Well, I would just be there, <laughs> we'll you know, just be there to make sure it moderating get so weird. it. Yeah, I'd just be like, hey, what about this? What about that? You know, but mostly it's going to be you and Vivacious talking on the phone, one on one, for, for as long as you like, up to an hour. And that can happen uh, only if you go to cookingwithdragqueens.com. Excuse me. Thank you, Joey. I think I got it. And Lisa Kudrow's Yay, Joey. voice. Well, you haven't donated yet because I haven't seen the donation yet. Well, he's getting there. Uh, you can visit the Should set. Should we stay on the line? Until we'll we stay on the loan, we're, Joey. We're, we're going to stay on the line until Joey. Joey, we're rooting for you. You, we're, you can do you this. You can do this. You can have our, you can uh, happen. What happened to our light balance? I don't know. Our light balance got weird. Here we go. Okay. So uh, you can go on a dinner date and have burritos with us. We'll go to Chipotle. We'll go to any... Uh, you know, we had some really great Mexican food restaurants and we'll... We'll pay for it. <laughs> uh, for $1,000, you can be an executive producer that puts your name in the beginning of the mm -hmm. show. And then you can use your drag name. You don't have to use and your... your opening your, credits. Yeah. A lot of drag queens get their name out there. You get to have your name in the opening title sequence, those fun animated mm -hmm. ones. We're redesigning that opening sequence. There's also a sequence for cook season three of Cooking with Drag Queens. It'll be a whole new bunch of graphics. It'll be even longer. <laughs> Well, that's not, that doesn't get people excited. Oh, is it? I thought people They want it shorter. Oh. They want I thought it they wanted it longer. Who doesn't like a long one? Um, so don't listen to what Mark says. <laughs> Just cheesy, of course. So, so uh, your name gets uh, on the opening title sequence, mm -hmm. and you get to be able to showcase yourself. So if it's your business or your drag name, or something for $1,000. Mm -hmm. You you know, for $1,000, you're basically getting your name out there to thousands and thousands of people on YouTube where for free, basically. It's like putting an ad mm -hmm. in there. Um, and uh, what other rewards are there? Well, there, I had it there. But... You had it there. But I was just interested because I'm like, we're at 98 backers. Can we get 100 backers? Two more backers, Two people. more backers. Come, Come on. on. Two more today. John... I know you can do it. John. John does a lot of good work out in San Francisco with the uh, Purple Park Project. Uh, no, Pink Triangle. The Pink Triangle. For yeah. $3, John, you can make a difference. Go to cookingwithdragqueens.com right now and pledge, a, a pledge $3. You know, when we did this video, just one person pledged the entire video. And we had at least um, 50 to 60 people watch it. So... What will it take for us to convince you to pledge just to three dollars to make a difference to help others jump into the pool of cooking with drag queens and swim in the deliciousness mm. to savor the flavor of these fabulous entertainers? Go to cookingwithdragqueens.com. Any last words, Marquito? That's it, man. Go to cookingwithdragqueens.com. Oscar! Yay, Yay, Oscar! Can you see it, Rodney? Uh, it does. Try doing it again. Yeah, it's still we're we're right now. I pledge, but it isn't showing in my Kickstarter history. Can you see it? Let me take hmm. a look. So we go in here and we look at our a new backer. Yay! There we go. Hey, is it? That's probably Rodney. Did you pledge ten dollars, Rodney? 
So here we go. You got activity. Or, oh, sorry, just these phones here are so hard, hard to handle. We're 101 backers. Yay. Yay we did I tried it. to back up, but not sure where to click a pledge. I just joined. So go to kickstarter.com once again. And you're going to, over here, you're going to go back to the main page. And if you're on your phone, you're going to... Jacob. Thank you, Jacob. Yay. So you're going to go all straight to the page. You're going to go right here. Right? So there's the Cooking with Drag Queens, Fry Harder. There's a big green button back this project. You can... Yes, thank you, Jacob. It's not a lot, but I hope it helps. It actually makes a huge difference. Every pledge is important to us. It's going to happen. So you can make a pledge without a reward, or you can scroll down and choose some of the rewards. And the more you pledge, the more in-depth. You can talk to us. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go on a Skype date with us, just one-on-one. -on -one. You can talk to us about yourself and interact with us uh, for just 300 bucks. We can, we can give you advice you on your anything. podcast. It doesn't mean I'll answer it. Rodney. Thank, thank you, you Rodney. Rodney. So thank you guys again for your support. We're going to be uh, giving you guys regular status updates on Facebook Live on this page. And we thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we're going to get working on our podcast with Cherry Chan, mm -hmm. Auntie Cherry. Well, let me get the book. I'll show you the book we're interviewing an author tomorrow, too. Let me oh, get that book. The, get that book. Yeah. So this is a transgender pioneer. Mm -hmm. And she, uh, there we go. Thank you, Rodney. I think it worked. It went through. So this is a transgender pioneer, and she's a... Uh... Jeez, did you just destroy the whole room back there? What's her name? This is a self-made woman by Denise Chanterelle at Dubois. Dubois. And so this is her as, uh, back when she was a young person. I'm seeing a lot, a lot of transgender people on social media. In the past, they used to really not want to talk about themselves or their history and mm -hmm. now they're posting pictures and images yeah. of themselves yes. before they transition right. to sort of um show the world what the journey they've yeah. gone through and it's a uh, thank you ricardo and it's also you know it is interesting because before it was like a lot of people used to hide their photos but now i think with like facebook and their transformation <laughs> tuesdays or the throwback thursdays i'm seeing a lot of more of my trans friends sharing pictures of themselves when they were younger whereas like i feel like maybe five years ago they would have like never done that so it's interesting how times have changed and i think that's actually healthy it's mm -hmm. about embracing yeah. your entire journey about who you are, where you've been, and where you're going. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really wonderful. And, and uh, so we're looking forward to talking mm -hmm. to Denise Chanterelle Dubois about yeah. her journey as a trans woman. Right. She was terrified of revealing her inner self. Dubois lurched through alcoholism, drug dealing, and addiction, car crashes, dangerous sex, and prison time. And now has written a, 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 a humorous book all about it. So About time in prison. You know, because you've heard of Chelsea Manning. Mm -hmm. uh, she spent a long time in in uh, isolation. Well, this mm -hmm. is, uh, you know, you've, you've heard Laverne Cox uh, on Orange is the New Black. Well, this is a actual trans woman who's spent some time in the mm -hmm. slammer. And so she's gonna be telling us her story in the home studio. So we look forward to sharing that with you guys coming soon on Feast of Fun. Thanks so much guys for watching and we will be back uh, soon to give you more status updates mm -hmm. on Cooking with Drag Queens. Bye bye. Cookingwithdragqueens.com. Check it out.